Hi, Bill Jones from Turntastic Wood Designs. Quite a while back, I made a video about sawdust and what to do with it. I make a lot of sawdust in my woodworking and getting rid of it, it was a problem for me. In that video, I tried a couple of things. I tried making a little homemade press uh, for, for making briquettes and that didn't really work for my needs. I, I tried a rocket stove and that didn't work out. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link in the description below. But at that time, I said one of the things that I wanted to try uh, was uh, a 20-ton press from Harbor Freight, which this is. I finally, uh, over a year later, cracked open my wallet and, uh, and gave it a, got this uh, press. Uh, actually, it's pretty, uh, fairly inexpensive. It, it was uh, under $200. Uh, and it uh, went together in about five minutes. It was really easy to put together and it's really easy to operate. And uh, I've uh, experimented with it a little bit, and it does work. And I'll show you how I'm using this, this to take the sawdust and make little pellets that I can burn in my stove. The press has a roughly one and a half inch steel ram, and a one and a half inch ID steel pipe slides over that just right. So I take that piece of pipe and I just take the sawdust and put it down in that pipe. I got a funnel to help me a little bit. Then I take a stick and just kind of pack it down a little bit. Get as much in there as I can. I take the whole thing over here to the press and all you have to do is crank down on the press and it squishes the sawdust and the natural, I think it's called lingam, it's a chemical in the wood, is a natural glue and that will actually get activated under pressure and hold the uh, sawdust together in a little pellet. And after it's compressed, I set it on these plates to where just the edge of the pipe is on the, there's little round cutouts on these plates. To where just the edge of the pipe is on, now I can push the plug out. Well, I tried a few things making a few of these. I made several of these pellets uh, and I was able to do it with, uh, with just sawdust and it made these pellets and they hold together and they can burn in the, uh, in the fireplace. I, uh, I tried a couple of things. I, I experimented with some different additives to see if it made a difference. I tried uh, mineral oil a little bit and that just made an enormous mess. Just that was a disaster. Uh, then I tried a little uh, paraffin wax. Took some paraffin wax and a, uh, and a cheese grater and grated some of that and put it in there. And that, that did pretty good. That, that held them together. But uh, after I did uh, uh, a few of these, I started noticing that uh, something wasn't right. And this steel pipe, even though it's a quarter inch thick, I was putting so much pressure on it, I've, I've expanded this pipe. So, and it's an awful lot of work cranking that. So this really doesn't work the way uh, I had really hoped it would either. So this is my second uh, video where I failed to have a good answer for sawdust. Um, I may have to just continue to dump it down the, uh, the gully and leave it as compost and, and that's just fine. As a matter of fact, that's what most people suggested on my last video was uh, I got a lot of comments uh, and I appreciate that. And, uh, but most people said just, just dump it for, for compost and I think that's what I'm going to continue to do. But you know, uh, some of you may be looking at this and thinking, you know, what goofy thing is, is Bill tried now? And you know what? That's okay. 
uh, you always learn, you always uh, try new things. I always want to be the kind of person that's always experimenting and learning new things. And I learned uh, something new here. Uh, I learned a little about how these presses work and uh, it didn't quite work the way I hoped, but that's okay. And uh, I'm always uh, looking for that next thing and, and learning and that, I think that's cool. Well, if you like this video and found it useful, please like and share with your friends. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube video. It really helps, or my YouTube channel, I mean. It really helps me out. If you have any questions about this or anything you've seen in my shop or on my channel, please feel free to leave a comment in the area below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, thanks for watching.